Everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Monday afternoon, January the 2nd. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aquatic Race Course Ozone Park, New York first for race three. 121 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Four year olds and up race for an optional claiming purse of some sixty-six thousand dollars. Contenders number three, Dr. Disco, number seven, Flat Bold, number one, Litigation Risk, and number five, Driven by Success. Number three, Dr. Disco has won five of eight in his career to date, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt as the pace profile leader. Nice early speed abilities to complement for this inner track sprint as well. He's hit the board in four of his last five outings, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Mike Luzzi and trainer Bruce Brown send him post for this afternoon. They've whacked the tote board with 51% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number four, Flat Bold, takes a class drop of two units, has turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three of those adventures. Race three summary, number three, Dr. Disco, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number four, Flat Bold, Number one, litigation risk, and number five, driven by success, three, four, one, five, and the third from the big A. Let's go to Gulfstream Park in Hallandale Beach, Florida, for race 6 2 53 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's an 11 furlong route test on the turf. Phillies and mares, four years old, and up race for an optional claiming purse of $56,500. Contenders number one, Sonata, number six, Late Day Sun. Number four, Two Wonders, and number two, Happy Clapper. Number one, Sonata, both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of 11 furlongs on the turf, has hit the board in four straight with three of those board hit races, including a win in her second race back, also qualifying as power runs. Number six, Late Day Sun, has turned in power run performances in four of her last five, winning twice. Race 6 summary, number 1, Sonata, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 6, Late Day Sun, number 4, Two Wonders, and number 2, Happy Clapper, 1642, and the 6 from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Turf Paradise, race 6, the 9 to 2 shot, number 6, La Prieta Linda, good overall speed for the 6.5 furlong sprint. Portland Meadows, race 10, number 8, Icarus Rising, 4 to 1 in the morning line. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by nine units, is the overall speed leader in this maiden field, racing at or about today's distance of 8.3, that's a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. So handicapping from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Monday, we're to need them for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.